In this video, we will start with further integration. And we are first going to look at integration of exponential functions. You will find this on page 518 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Integration of exponential functions. Now, in chapter 7, we learned that the basics of integration. Okay, so we learned the basics. In this chapter, we will build on that basic knowledge of integration. So, it is important to revise chapter 7 before you start with this chapter, especially the rules and everything. So, in chapter 11, we learned, that's the previous chapter, that if I differentiate e to the power x, it stays e to the power x. But if I differentiate e a to the power ax plus b, then it becomes a e ax plus b. Okay, so it's just basically that value in front of x that I put in front or that I multiplied with. So since integration is the reverse process of differentiation, the rules for integration exponential functions are as follows. Okay, so if I if I integrate this, okay, then I uh, um okay and and this. So let's just quickly see if I integrate this, then I will just get this. But if I integrate this because that was just one, then I will say one over a. Where with differentiation I just said a, but to to do the reverse I do the reciprocal one over a and I just rewrite and don't forget your plus c. So let's look at three examples. Find the following integrals. Okay, so the first one is just e to the power 4x. So it's a quarter e to the power 4x plus c. Okay, then the next one, and this is going to be negative a half. So I'm going to divide, oh, it's not, it's 7 over 2. Just make it bigger, then we can see better. Okay, then we don't have to make mistakes. Okay, this is negative 7 over 2, so I divide by negative. So actually, I multiply with the reciprocal, and that will be negative 2 over 7. Okay, and I just rewrite it as it was plus C. And then this one, remember, it's not the first one, it's the value in front of X. And remember always to grab that sign. So in this case, it will be negative 2. So it's 10 multiply negative a half, always the reciprocal, E, and I rewrite plus C, and then I basically just simplify. Okay, I want you to stop the video, A and B I think is easy, I want you to do number C and D. Um, do A and B also, check the answers at the back of the book or in the teacher's guide, but in this video I will focus on C and D. Okay, let's start. Number C. So it's going to be negative 6e uh, 2 minus 3x dx. Okay, so if I integrate this, I'm going to leave the negative 6, it's a constant. I multiply, and what is the value, and I want to make it another color, the value in, oh, it's still, I want to go for red, in front of x, it's negative 3, so multiply negative 1 over 3, and then just rewrite. Remember, you already have the 6. So, e, 2 minus 3x plus c. And if we simplify a negative, negative, it's positive 6, so it's 2, e, 2 minus 3x plus c. And that is my final answer. Okay, let's look at number d. It's going to be 9 plus e 2x over e 2x dx. Okay. So first let's get it ready. So um, I'm getting it ready, so I keep the integral. So I'm going to take this denominator, divide it in the first term of the numerator, and then the second. So 9e 2x plus e 2x over e2x. Remember, I didn't differentiate it. 
Ach, integrate. Correct myself. Okay, now bringing it up. So it's, and I still write my integral, and it's negative 2x. Now it's ready. And it's actually, I'm on integrating 2x. And now I can start. And that's equal. So it's 9 multiplied 1 over negative 2, e minus 2x. Don't forget, can you remember the constant? We put an x, and that's coming from chapter 7, and then plus c. And that's negative 9 over 2. But now, don't forget, this is e. It's actually over 1. It's standing on top. So if I want to make it positive, I bring it to the bottom. Okay. And that is then my final answer. And don't forget to see.